You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. And while it seems easy enough, I assure you, climbing that ladder is a lot more difficult than it looks, especially after getting oh. hit with it a dozen times. The Ouch. monster among men doesn't ask for permission nor ask for forgiveness. He simply destroys whatever lays in his path. Braun Strowman is a leviathan, Saxton, and sports entertainment has never experienced brute force like this from one human being. blow. Headbutt. Nothing fancy there. Braun Strowman faltering some. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. With so much on the line here in this ladder match, he has no choice but to find a way to overcome this attack, guys. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. I feel a little silly asking this, given that there is probably no good answer, but Corey... How do you beat Braun Strowman? Well, you're right, Cole. That is a silly question because there's no blueprint when it comes to defeating a monster like Braun Strowman. The best advice I would give, I guess, is try to chop him down to size. What a headbutt. Vicious. What a stomp. Good grief. Byron, Corey suggests trying to chop Braun Strowman down to size as a possible strategy against the Monster Among Men. What do you think? Would that strategy work against Strowman? Well, it's certainly worth a shot. If you take out Strowman's legs, then it becomes a mat game. I mean, you're probably going to get crushed, but maybe not as badly. Mm. Oh, my goodness. This hurts. Oh! Nasty drop. What does Braun Strowman need to do now to remain a factor in this match? Guys, this is where we find out what he's made of. Oh, man. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. Expecting to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. The good news for him is that his opponent's offense is likely packing a little less of a punch, considering all the damage he was able to inflict earlier in this match. Oh, nasty impact. Some attitude behind it. Ooh, that'll mess up your shoulder. Look at these competitors. I mean, nobody's going to be the same again after this ladder match. Dreaded claw to the oh, shoulder. Oh, man. Oh, the dreaded claw to the oh, shoulder. Oh, man. One of these guys is going to walk away with the win here tonight. I just can't imagine one of them also accepting defeat. There he goes, crashing to the floor. 
He's setting up the ladder now. But can he get up there in time? That's the question. He's heading for higher ground to get away from you. He, okay, bringing it back between the ropes. Of course, Braun Strowman has accomplished so many amazing feats over the years. But guys, one of the most amazing things I've ever seen was how Strowman responded to being taken to Suplex City. This might end badly. Ooh. Here goes Braun Strowman. As Michael alluded to, Strowman reacted to being taken to Suplex City by actually popping right back up from Brock Lesnar's German Suplex. I mean, stuff like that just is not supposed to happen. Yeah, Byron, not only did Strowman immediately pop back up, but then he proceeded to manhandle, or should I say, monster handle Lesnar like we've never seen before. Making the climb here, guys! Oh! Gonna try to win it right here. Look at super focused too, Cole. This may very well be it. The longer this fight goes on, the more wear and tear on each competitor. Who is gonna have enough to pick up the win? Let's get another look at what made that ladder match so exciting. And there's your winner here in this singles match. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. We may be in New Orleans tonight, but I assure you there was nothing easy about...